Hi, welcome to our video. Today we're having a look at this 7 inch tablet phone or phablet. Um, it's 3G enabled, it's got GPS um, and it does everything a phone would do and everything a tablet would do. So it's a great combination. So let's have a look at the outside first of all. We've got a lovely big 7 inch touch screen. We've got our Android uh, capacitive uh, buttons here, a back, a menu, home and a search. Underneath here we've got a little port for our uh, SIM card and a micro SD card. On the other side we've got a reset, a volume up and down. And on the top we've got our on button. On the other side we've got a mini USB, a power headphone jack as well. And this one does have both a front camera and on the back we have a back camera too so it pretty much um, ticks all the boxes it's got everything you'd need um, this is particularly good because if you if you want uh, internet on the go you haven't got Wi-Fi or you, you you know you don't want to mess around with other people's Wi-Fi this is great because you can pop your sim card in providing it's got data on it you'll be able to uh, browse the internet wherever you are now one thing I must stress is when you're taking the SIM in and out, you mustn't take it um, in and out unless it's switched off. So make sure whenever you put the SIM in, uh, the, 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 the tablet is switched off um, and when you take it out, it's switched, on, uh, uh, switched off as well. Uh, it helps if you put the SIM card in the right way. Right, okay, so it will click in. I need longer fingernails, I think. Okay, there we are and the micro SD card just goes in there there we are and we close the hatch and we turn it on at the start at the top okay while that's turning on let me show you what comes with this fantastic tablet obviously we give you a uh, charger so that's to charge comes with a little adapter there so you can charge the tablet comes with a USB cable to attach to your PC. Also comes with a, a pair of headphones. Now these headphones have a little microphone on them so not only can you listen to music you can uh, take phone calls with them. And we also give you as a little bonus a uh, Bluetooth headset and that's the, the charger for the Bluetooth headset. You can just charge it by your USB port on the PC. So um, yeah, that's a headset. Now it does also uh, come with a quick start manual. Um, the start of it's Chinese, but later on I promise um, it's in English. Um, it's quite helpful. Like I said, it's a quick start manual, so you know it's not going to be terribly detailed. Um, but Android is fairly easy to use. This is running Android 2.3 so if there's anything you need to know just download the full Android 2.3 instruction manual which you can find on the internet. Failing that give us a call and we'll uh, try our best to help you. Right now that the, 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 the tablet started this is our lock screen so what we can do to unlock it we just grab it and across like that just do that and that's our front page. So, with Android, um, you can see that th there's several home screens that you can customise. So you can put widgets on here, this is a widget, a BBC widget, or shortcuts on here. So I've got shortcuts to uh, some applications that I use. I've got a time and a weather widget up here. Um, and down here I've got quick settings for Wi-Fi and things what I'm gonna do I'm gonna switch the Wi-Fi off um, and I've got more screens here for music and a clock and things okay let's talk about the phone functions because you know this can double up as a phone so if I go on to here there we are with our have our phone keypad we can dial out uh, from the keypad we can go to our contacts list um, uh, call log and things and dial out like you would do a normal phone let's go back um, and text messaging you can do as well if I get the messaging app 
I should have put it on the front really. Um, let me find the messaging app. There we are. So I can compose a new message. Again, um, I can type with the keyboard here um, and I can put the number in or I can select from my uh, call list like you would do uh, from, from my contact list like you would do a, a normal phone again I can type this way as well so I get a bigger keyboard so whichever way you prefer so that's a phone function so pretty much like every smartphone it will do everything a smartphone would do now the wonderful wonderful thing about this uh, this tablet is um, because I've got a SIM card in, obviously I can use the phone functions, but I want to use internet without Wi-Fi um, around. So I haven't got Wi-Fi network around, or I don't want to use public Wi-Fi's. I can use my own data connection on my SIM. Um, the way to do this, um, you will need to do a bit of configuring, um, but we can help you. I'll show you where you go. Go to settings, and go to wireless and networks, mobile networks, then access point names now each sim card has access point name uh, net, uh, settings so you can either ask your um, network uh, your, your phone provider to give you these or there's loads of uh, you know uh, help and guides online how to configure Android APNs um, so what we do we do uh, menu button here new APN and then fill all these settings out uh, which I'm gonna do and then show you that you can access internet don't be afraid you only have to do this once um, and you know if need be if you need us to help you we will uh, try our best to help you too right I've now put in my um, APN settings for my sim card don't worry it, it is really quite simple um, so don't be too afraid to do this remember you only have to do it once so I, I then save it once I've saved it I can go back and then I have my APN setting up here. Make sure the, the green is highlighted so you highlighted it. And then on the top here, you'll receive this little sort of icon. And that's showing, I don't know if you can see it, that's showing that the data is connected. So if I go back to the home page, you'll see that if I open up browser, uh, unfortunately bookmark the wrong Google right okay so you can see um, the internet's working on there so let's uh, let's have a little browse on the internet because this is what you're going to do um, on on the tablet you're going to be browsing the internet and things so there we have the uh, the website loaded um, this has got pinch to zoom so I can quickly zoom in to any part of the website to get more details and uh, things obviously I can flip it round and it will flip over so for browsing the internet on the go this is gonna do the job superbly okay so let's go back Let's talk about this screen for a little bit. The screen is a uh, capacitive uh, touch screen, um, and capacitive means I can just literally just touch it with my fingers and it will recognize the input like that. I'm just brushing it, it recognizes the input just like that. Now, this has got multi touch, so it hasn't got just a single touch, it's got five point touch point multi-touch it means the whole experience of using this tablet phone is far better um, you're not going to get frustrated using it you can see it's tracking my fingers really well and it can track five points so multiplayer games games in general in, and in general just using the tablet is is far easier and more of a joy to use so let's have a look at the, the, the some of the pictures as well um, and um, show you the, 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 the quality of this screen. You can see it's really bright and vibrant. It's responsive to the touch. I can zoom in and out very quickly. And that's largely thanks to the processor. The processor on here is uh, not a, a, an ARM processor like most tablets have. It's a Qualcomm processor, a great, great processor. It's a, it's a nice 
stable processor found on more expensive phones um, you know so it's not an ARM processor it's a Qualcomm processor it's better it's more quick it's more stable and the colors are really vibrant um, and we can see it from all angles and things it's uh, it's really good okay so the other thing that you're probably going to be doing on this is reading books um, I've downloaded the the Amazon Kindle app so no need to buy a Kindle this application will turn your uh, your tablet into a Kindle um, I've already got some books free books if I just open it you can see I can read my books on the, uh, on the go like a Kindle ebook reader I can zoom into the text as well zoom out to make it bigger and smaller and the writing is really clear and go to the next page really really nice great function to use it as a book ebook reader and again on the Kindle application you can buy books directly from the application as well and um, you know if you've got an Amazon account you can just quickly sign in very easily to the Kindle app right what, what about um, uh, Google Play now this does have Google Play the Play Store so I can download uh, new applications um, when I want to let me just sign in there we are. once I've signed in I can download new applications new movies new books um, anything that I want to um, so let's have a look at some uh, some games loads of stuff is free on the, the the marketplace so there we are we have all the free games there um, free applications as well as paid applications books movies you name it if you want to search for something you can search for something particular let's say Angry Birds I want to search for Angry Birds there's all the different versions of Angry Birds and to install them I just click them and install them as simple as that so some tablets do not surprisingly do not have the Google Play we make sure all our tablets have the Google Play because it makes it a lot easier to install applications uh, because you don't have to take uh, download it on your PC put it on a memory card put it on this it's all done through the tablet um, so that's uh, that's uh, a thing that we say you must always have obviously it has a front and back camera the back camera is a 2 megapixel camera that's uh, showing me the front camera at the moment still showing me the front camera um, how do I switch the camera over there we are so uh, it, it's got a front and back camera um, and it's a 2 megapixel camera which is uh, which is more than enough really um, to take the, the odd shot when you're out and about so let's uh, let's let's do the other thing as well on this um, clearly as it's a phone tablet it has Bluetooth so you can connect with Bluetooth devices and things but this also has GPS this has its own GPS chip in it so if I wanted to I can download GPS applications but really I don't need to because uh, Google navigation comes free on this and as long as you've got data um, so if you've got a sim in there with data I can uh, navigate to anywhere I like um, because it will download the maps on the fly via my data um, so that's really gr great um, there we are we have some maps here that's loading on the fly Google Maps I, I really don't understand why you would need anything else a uh, paid navigation app because Google Maps is really really good I use it all the time it is really good and it's completely completely free um, it's a good navigation system so you can use this as a huge navigation device if you want to as well so that's an absolute bonus as well now you keep, keep seeing this thing come up when I press the home now let me quickly briefly show you this it comes with two launchers the normal launcher that we've got here so basically how you interact with it so this is how the front page would look but if I wanted to I could select this launcher as well is that that's another option you have 
um, and it gives it a completely different look. It's still the same inside, still the same programs, but it gives it a completely different look. You can see I've got different icons here and I can spin it around and things. And what I can do also, um, I've got quick settings oh, up here. here. Um, I've got some many things and this as well I've got several pages so rather than um, sort of screens all the applications that oh, I keep pressing the wrong things all the applications are kept on this little tube and then I can have more of these these pages as you can see so that's a different way to interact with it um, so it gives you a bit of choice um, let's get back to the normal browser this also has, well, you can install BBC iPlayer, um, which is nice uh, because watching BBC iPlayer is great. Connect it to your Wi-Fi because that way um, it's going to be faster and things. So I can watch a video in the garden. Now, if this ever tells you to update this flash, please do not update this flash because this was designed for the flash that comes installed in this uh, tablet. So if it says, please update flash, say don't you know update later or something don't update it because that will sort of break up the system so you can see it plays BBC iPlayer again that's a great bonus because some tablets do not play BBC iPlayer I think BBC iPlayer is great and uh, having that on this tablet gives that a bit more right the last thing I want to show you is game capability now you may want to play the odd game you probably won't use this for games but it's nice to know that this has the power to do games if you want to so let me go through a selection of games and you can assess how good this is Okay, so there you have it on the uh, the gaming front. As you can see, it's a very uh, capable system. So it has its own 3D graphics chip and it can handle the, those games with ease. Coupled with the Qualcomm CPU, which is not like uh, the all-winner A10 CPU that you've seen everywhere. It's, it's a better CPU. A Qualcomm CPU uh, is in this tablet, so it is uh, really good. The build quality of this device is really good as well. It, it must be uh, seen to be in mind. It's got a front and back facing camera, obviously. Great screen on it, five point capacitive touch. If you're someone who needs a big phone, um, this is perfect for you because it has all the smartphone functions that you'd want. It's got Bluetooth, it's got Wi-Fi, it's got GPS. Um, with that huge screen that you probably want having something so big if you want a tablet um, that is good but also want to have the flexibility to have um, a sim card in there so you can have data on the go uh, data um, internet without having to use a dongle this is for you um, you know you, you, you you're out somewhere you don't want to use a public Wi-Fi network you want to use your own data sim stick it in there and away you go so you know you like I said before, you're not going to have this ugly looking dongle sticking out the side. It's all in there, it's all compact. 
it's it's all there battery life on this is surprisingly really good as well do remember when you're using the 3g on this to turn it off when you're not using it because battery life does drain quite a lot if you use 3g uh, if you're not using the 3g and you're yeah, leaving it on so that's it i can't highly recommend this tablet enough we've only got a few of these i suspect these will sell out pretty quick the price on it is fantastic we sell our android phones for more than we sell this so um, it really is a great price i hope you do choose to buy one soon thanks for watching our video